In this video, I'm going to show you how to send MIDI from Studio One Professional to Notion so that you can use the MIDI in Notion to play virtual instruments hosted in Notion and then send the generated audio back to Studio One. For purposes of the video, I've already pre-configured everything so that I have a voiceover microphone, so that I've got some MIDI, and so that Notion is uh, set up as a rewire slave. This begins by starting Studio One first. This makes it the rewire host controller. Then you can import a MIDI file. In this example, I imported a Mozart file. and I specifically set it up to a non-piano instrument. Then I sent the MIDIO over to Notion where it was received as a piano because I had a piano staff named Piano in Notion. After doing that, I renamed the piano staff to Addictive Keys and set it to Addictive Keys uh, where it's now uh, configured to play a grand piano from Addictive Keys. In Notion, if you're on the Mac, you want to go up to Notion Preferences and you want to check Enable Rewire and Allow Network Discovery and then uh, answer OK to the pop-up message, Exit Notion and then restart it. On Windows, you're not really supposed to check both of them at the same time, but uh, it works on the Mac. In Mac OS, everything works on the Mac. It's kind of like Blue Bonnet Margin. Everything's better with Blue Bonnet on it. You know what I'm saying? Great. Now on the rewire part, um, you see down here, it's got you know where the outputs are going, and I currently have the master set to output to channels one and two. That's a rewire pair. And so that's where the audio is going to be sent over to Studio One. And what I did to get started, I found the rewire here. And you just uh, drag and drop Notion onto a lane up here. And it uh, sets everything up. But I've already done that, so I won't do it again. As I play a little bit of this, you can see that there are two different sources. One is the MIDI in Studio One playing one of the Studio One instruments. And the other is this Addictive Keys, which is hosted in Notion. And it's sending its generated audio over to Studio One where it comes in on this Notion channel right here. So that's all working real great. And now we're going to send the MIDI here over to this staff named Piano. The names of staves in Notion is very important. So in Studio One, I go Song, Send to Notion, and I'm going to click on. Uh, Send note data of selected tracks. I've got this track selected and also have merge into open document. That means it's going to merge it into the open Notion score. So off we go. And as you can see down here, the MIDI came into the piano stave. And because the piano stave is the Notion bundled piano, it's going to be different from the Addictive Keys piano. And the way to prove that is to back it up, switch over here on Notion, 
go into the Notion mixer and uh, I'm going to mute addictive keys. And so this should work, all right? on the tools menu and uh, bingo everything on the selected track is converted to notation so that's all there is to it and if you want to do it for a whole bunch of uh, MIDI tracks that you have in Studio One you just repeat the procedure the difference with a lot of MIDI tracks is that you're probably going to want to assign each particular instrument to a different rewire channel pair rather than just routing them all over into uh, channel pair 1-2. Other than that, it's uh, very easy and you can go back and forth from Notion to Studio One and then Studio One to Notion. You'll have to experiment with that some, but once you get everything configured, uh, pretty easy and um, Studio One and Notion are the only products that do this. So yeah, uh, you want to use Studio One as your DAW and Notion for music notation. <laughs> 